All right, so we're down at uh, Golden Beach. Yeah. This is coming towards the end of the trip, I think. I might be camping here for two nights. Yeah, so we got here yesterday. I'm deep from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. I'll give you a little bit of a view of our campsite. You got the track to the beach just over there. Big mighty patrol. Big 79 Pumba. Swags. Buffoon over there. Old Bruce Dog. Scar Dog. I reckon he's looking for a place of crap. As I said, a big buffoon over there. What do you got there, Ed? Kite, mate. What are you got a kite for? Ready, go! Woohoo! Hey! <laughs> hey, how are you? Was that fun? It was! So, this is it, huh? What? Real hard life. Good views. Uh, I was pretty good uh, sleeping last night with the waves crashing. I actually enjoyed that again. Um, other than uh, when you're going bush camping, obviously if you're near a river and that and it's got a little bit of rapids, you can hear the water. And that, that's always good. Tomorrow we'll be uh, departing, uh, going a different way, where um, Anne and Carly and the bub will be going somewhere else and me and Dad will head, start heading towards Melbourne and from there we'll uh, end up setting up camp along, probably along a beach somewhere. What's going on there, Ed? Uh, How many chairs have you broken yet? How many, how many does that make it now? They won't make it like they used to, do they? <laughs> Maybe you're just getting a little bit too heavy, mate. Look at his bum sitting on the ground. <laughs> Even Brucey is sitting there giggling. <laughs> you want action? You want action? You do, you're happy. You're a happy boy, aren't you? Show it off. All right, I kind of suck at surf fishing. Um, a lot harder to cast it out than what I actually figured. Um, uh, yeah, not coming back to camp anyway. Going to uh, cook nachos tonight. Kind of cheating, uh, rather than cook up mints and all that. I'm going to um, just use a tin of uh, stag chili. Should be nice anyway. So nice hearty meal. All right, so I missed another. Uh, uh, the start of the sunset, so just came up a little bit. I had to take the dog back to camp quickly. Shallow inlet campground today. It's up near Wilson's Prompt. Uh, it's pretty basic, nothing really uh, that much. You do have uh, fresh water here as well, and also long drop toilets. They're actually quite good condition considering what it has been like. This is a Friday long weekend, so I reckon it'll be pretty packed here tomorrow. But we're leaving and heading home. So that shouldn't be a big drama. There's plenty of shade here as well. So it's not like uh, when I was staying at Banksy Bluff when uh, everything got burnt through there. It is a dog friendly uh, camping ground. Uh, it will set you back around about 20 bucks a night. 
Uh, we are actually on um, peak season, so it may be cheaper if you come here any other time. You can see right here the dog's trying to get in the old man's swag because he knows he's in there. <laughs> this is the reason why I have two swags. He's already killed that one there. He's busted one of the zips. Stop. Oh yeah, it's not a bad spot here. The campgrounds are actually very big. This is an actually our campground. There's another one. The one next to us. It's actually quite large. Our campgrounds there. You see the big, big toy there with two swags. Extends all the way out to here. All right, you can see the big rig packed up there. Little scar dog down there. So that's the end of a trip for us. Uh, heading back home today. We've got about a three-hour drive. Uh, all in all, pretty good one. Good to catch up with uh, Ant and his family and that. Uh, also good to have the old man out, he's been hanging to go out since uh, lockdown's finished but I haven't allowed him to come out with me yet. Um, out of all the campsites, I reckon probably right along uh, Quarry would have been the best one. Uh, clean dunnies and, and not really many mosquitoes. Uh, we did see a snake there but a red belly black snake. At this campsite on um, shallow Shallow Cove, I think, I think we're staying at at the moment. Uh, that one there was loaded full of mosquitoes. I got done hard last night. Uh, you can't have a fire, so that usually keeps them away. Also, packing up camp today, found a little little tiny scorpion as well. So if you do come here, be mindful of that. Apparently, the lady, not yesterday, last night, the night before, she got seven whiting fishing out of there. So. If you're a keen fisherman, definitely uh, head out there. Anyway, we're going to pack up, finish finish doing all the little odds and ends, and then uh, head out to back home. All right, see you on the next trip.